Okay, uh, welcome back. Uh, I thought I'd have a look at this um, problem that I've been experiencing with um, a, this Yahua solder station that I bought. Now, I've got uh, an Axon station and it works very well. Um, I'll give you an example. Um, at the moment, this, uh, this one's set uh, to 300 degrees and we'll, we'll do a quick measurement. So you lift it. We've got to wait for it to You've got to be a bit patient, right? It's, it's gone sh over a little bit of overshoot, and then it'll come back down to 300 degrees. Let, let's measure it. Um, I'll wait for a second. Right, so it's saying 300 degrees. Let's measure it here. See what it says. Okay. Oh, 303. I'll live with that. It's good enough. Okay. So uh, that's a a C245 bit on a on an Axon. It's, well, it's sort of known standard and um, I thought I'd have a look at this because I had some problems with it. So um, let's let's turn it on. This is the, the, the Yahua D or sorry 937D and um, obviously it's a, a, the same sort of thing very a lot cheaper and um, I was wondering why when I switch it on, it comes up to temperature and it, it will not melt solder, which is a bit strange. So let's have a little look. So we turn it on and it's, um, let's set it to 300. Wait for a minute. It's got to do its thing, I think. Heating, it says. There we are. And away it goes. Right, let's wait for it to get to, get to heat. Give it, let's give this, make it a fair t test of the uh, Yahuwah. Right, here it comes too. Three, five, six, seven. Come on. There we are. Three hundred degrees, and the iron is still, still not soldering. It's not hot. It's not hot enough to solder. It's not hot enough to melt the solder. Come on. What's going on here? It's interesting. Here it comes. Now, now I can see it's starting to get hot. Let's see where it goes. We'll get rid of that and see what the temperature is. There we are. And it's saying it's 230, 230, 240. Oh, later that year. Come on, come on. Here we are, 250, 60. It's getting hot now. I guess it was a lot to answer that this is a, a 937D, no idea how to calibrate this. You, it's, got, it's not got a pot inside, it's got a, a, a press button. Um, it's coming up to temperature now. But as you can see, it, it's not actually that bad, uh, temperature controlled, um, accuracy wise. But um, what you're reading on the... Um, what you're reading there at 300 degrees is not 300 degrees. Uh, you have to, there you are, 300 now. So it's taken a lot longer to reach 300 than it actually sort of tells you. It's, it's almost got a cheat device built into it. I don't exactly know what's going on inside it, but um, I think there's just a word of warning on that. Um, so it's a good iron. It's, it's a budget iron and I, I think probably um, if I didn't have a better iron, it'd be the one I use because you've got so many things for, for the price. But give it some time. You've got to turn it on and you've got to leave it um, for three or four minutes to warm up and get to temperature. It's now, oh, there we are. Well, OK, 315 degrees, but it's stabilised around about that, that temperature, um, which is good enough for soldering. You can turn it up a bit and we'll see what, what happens. There we are, 320 there we are. It's coming up. It's 318. Oh, here it comes. It says 320. Well, it is 320. There we are. But there we are. That's, that's all I wanted to demonstrate. The fact that uh, this iron and this solder station, um, when it says 300, when you first switch it on and you try to use it, don't be surprised if you, um, you can't melt solder. Uh, interesting little, uh, little thing to look at, I guess. Thank you. And uh, as, as Big Clive would say, awkward moment. <laughs>